The chemistry program has two majors, chemistry and chemical and biological engineering. First, let's take a look at some examples of major research themes. In this research room, the production of new functional devices using fullerenes and carbon nanotubes is being studied. Hi everyone, uh, today I'd like to explain one of the, uh, a couple of my research topics that we have been doing uh, during the past couple of decades. One of the endohedral metallofluorines, uh, which is a fluorine encapsulated in metal atoms, and this has been applied to uh, MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, a contrast agent. Another thing is that uh, P parts, which is this material, uh, carbon nanotubes having an endohedral metallofluorines, and this happened to be a the fantastic uh, channels of FET field effect transistors that we have been uh, investigating uh, rather expensively in correlation with the peoples and electron companies here in Japan. This is research on synthetic chemistry, which contributes to the progress of material science, pharmaceutical development, and the life sciences. Our field is called synthetic chemistry. This is an enterprise connecting molecule and creating value. So starting from simple building blocks, our catalysts can connect these molecules to synthesize useful molecule that can be used for pharmaceuticals, agrochemicals, and electronic materials. So we believe the power of molecule, we believe the power of synthesis, and we believe the power of catalysts. Our ultimate goal is very clear, to develop molecule that can change the world. And Nagoya is one of the best places to do such research. Nagoya is a place continuously producing transformative molecules, thereby attracting researchers from all over the world. We will connect molecule, create value, and change the world one molecule at a time. And research is being conducted here on the production of functional molecules for organic electronics. Well, our research is to develop a new functional materials for organ electronics like organ EO displays uh, or uh, organ solar cells. So we every day uh, design a new uh, elaborated molecule like this and uh, trying to produce it as a real entity uh, by the advanced organic synthesis. So uh, our strengths is to make best use of various elements like boron or silicon. And in this field, we are definitely leading the world research. And indeed, one of the compounds we synthesize uh, has been utilized in this cell at home. So please imagine, so the compound you design and synthesize uh, uh, will significantly uh, advance the future electronics. So it should be very marvelous, and it's a goal of our research. Hi everyone, I'd like to briefly introduce the Department of Chemistry here in Nagoya. Uh, this department has been highly known as an international department in chemistry. Uh, for example, we have produced a couple of Nobel Prize laureates in the past uh, decade, and uh, we have a very brilliant uh, young uh, staff uh, faculties, uh, together with uh, many uh, excellent graduate students, and also we have a very internationally uh, spread uh, uh, international students in the department and I hope you can also join us in the near future as a G30 students uh, to this department. Welcome to Nagoya. Now let's take a look at some examples of research themes in the chemical and biological engineering major. This is research on the production of nano bio devices. So my research group has been focused on the development of nanobio devices, as you can see in this slide. So we are developing the cancer cellular analysis from the human breath using the Ugrana, as well as the microfluid devices. So after the separation of cancer cells, we like to analyze the DNA or some other biomolecules with a very fast manner. So to do that, we developed a kind of nanostructures to get in a microsecond separation of DNA and finally, we are developing the nanopore devices, which will be very accurate analysis of DNA sequence, 
will be able to get the human genome sequence within the only the several seconds using these devices. That device is, is focused on the applied to the uh, biomedical fields, such as the cancer diagnosis. So we analyze the cancer cell for the cancer metastatic diagnosis, and also we analyze the different molecules inside a human blood to do the cancer diagnosis. So that are our, my our research project. Here, research is being conducted on the creation of functions by optically controlling biomolecules. In my laboratory, we are creating new artificial DNA and RNA for biotechnology and nanotechnology. One of our projects is photoregulation of DNA and RNA function. By creating photoresponsive DNA, we are trying to photoregulate G expression. For this purpose, we have achieved formation and dissociation of DNA duplex only by photoirradiation because spontaneous hybridization of DNA is a fundamental supramolecular property of DNA and RNA. With this photoresponsive DNA, we could successfully photoregulate transcription and translation. And this is synthetic chemistry research using catalysts. Our research is focused on the design and synthesis of new organic molecules as a catalyst, like this, that enables highly efficient environmentally friendly chemical synthesis. Why? Because now daily life relies on thousands of organic molecules with well-defined shape for the expression of their functions. Effective drugs for disease and liquid crystals for your mobile phone display are typical examples. These molecules are often unnatural, so that they should be made by chemical synthesis in the companies and delivered to your hands. So, we are aiming at creating our own molecules and also understanding the relationship between their structures and behavior as characteristics. Through these efforts, we'd like to develop truly innovative characteristics that could revolutionize chemical synthesis indispensable for continuously providing highly variable organic molecules to the society. This is our goal. Why don't you join us? In our Department of Applied Chemistry, there are many world-leading scientists, especially for the uh, research focused on the interdisciplinary research fields, as well as the basic uh, chemistry including organic chemistry, polymer, as well as the our inorganic compounds and nanotechnologies. So our department is more focused on of, uh, interdisciplinary research fields toward the uh, biomedical applications and as well as the uh, green technology. That is our very strong point in our department. Well, basically I chose Nagoya University in Japan out of the many other choices that I could have gone to because I wanted an experience in a country, um, well, pretty far away from Singapore. For all of my life I've been studying in Singapore and I've only experienced Singapore's education system. But this chance um, in Nagoya University in the Global 30 program actually allowed me to explore and learn about a whole new culture and a whole new language um, without having to first study um, the subject in Japanese. So I could actually enter Nagoya University and start straight away my courses in English and it picks up from where I left off in my high school education. So I thought it was a very smooth transition from high school to university. Yeah. Well, I feel that learning chemistry here is a very um, interesting and new experience because it's in a completely different country and the experiences and the equipment here are also very advanced compared to what I have experienced back in my high school in Singapore. So um, basically I get to work with many different people of de different nationalities and um, also have access to very advanced research of, of the Japanese professors and students at my university, Nagoya University. And this has allowed me to view chemistry from a very different perspective and also um, become more interested in new topics that were not be, um, introduced to me beforehand in Singapore. 
Well, because it's called the Global 30 program, we have a lot of international students, mainly from Southeast Asia. And um, it's really interesting that I, I can hear them talking in Malay or Chinese, and it's really interesting, having, and I'm really having fun. And um, I know it's different from normal Japanese students, but um, I think it's a very good opportunity. I, getting to know people from very different backgrounds. And then they, the, all the other international students, they mostly have never gone out of their own country. And um, I have only lived in Japan for half of my life. So it's really interesting to get to know Japan with them and teaching them um, some Japanese knowledge that I have.